So, so what we've got here is uh, Windows 7. So I really want to bring to life the, uh, the touch elements of Windows 7. So um, what I'm just going to do is start at the very basics. And um, Windows 7 is, is multi-touch. So let me just demonstrate some of the uh, basic maneuvers. Um, imagine, if you will, your mouse. And if you right-click your mouse, you're presented with a normal menu bar. Let me show you how we can do that with touch. So simply by holding my finger on the screen and then touching again, you see my right mouse click menu is there and ready to go. So, these are very basic things I, I hear you say. So, let's have a little look at um, our surface globe. A globe, as you know, is something, certainly in my, uh, in my youth, is something very tactile that you've actually got your hands on, you've spun around, you've looked at the countries. But with touch, this takes it to an, another dimension. So straight away, I'd just like to bring your uh, attention that the world can easily be spun simply with a, a hand motion. And what I can uh, do is, let's look at the UK, simply by using my fingers, close pinch, go over the UK and I can rotate the right way and keep zooming in, zooming in, zoom again. So all of a sudden you've got a very quick interaction with the, with the globe. Very personal touch with this. You're using the multi-touch to uh, locate where you want to be, zoom in or zoom out, bringing my uh, wider grip together. And there we go. Great. So I'm going to close down the uh, globe and um, we've been working with um, software manufacturers um, and partners to actually look at software that uh, could be optimised through Windows 7. So let me take you, for example, here, Digital Studio by Corel. All of a sudden here, this, um, this uh, partner um, has developed uh, a menu which immediately lends itself better to touch. So straight away you have Photobook, let me touch this, and it takes me into the functionality of Photobook. Let me talk a little bit about this Corel software. Um, within Photobook I can choose any of these styles. I'll choose uh, this style here, and then select Photos. This will now take me to my photo library. So let me open my uh, photo library of um, Let's go balloons. And what I can simply do is make a photo book by dragging the photos that I want quickly and easily to this uh, base bar. I'll put one more in there for, for look. And now what I'm going to do is generate this into a photo book. So now what you see is a virtualization of a photo book, which I can physically uh, drag the pages across. Also in situ, I can actually alter the uh, image, again with a multi-touch gesticulation. So then from an output point of view, it's great to have it virtually. What we have here are the standard uh, print senders JPEG, but we have a Silverlight option by where we can save this uh, flickbook as a Silverlight file and then forward it on or send it to uh, friends, relatives and such like. And the other option that um, is really exciting is this order online functionality by where um, I can now send this uh, book off to a third party of Corel's and the book will arrive back to me as a physical hard book uh, within a few days. Mm, great.